The reason most short traders lose money is because they do not manage their risk properly. I'll say that again. The reason most traders lose money is because they do not manage their risk properly. They'll have a two grand account and they'll put place a bet that risks half that account on one bet. And the bet goes against them, their 50% of their accounts wiped out. That's the reason. Risk management, money management, that is the main reason. And then the, on top of that, it is not having an, a strategy. But then as soon as you have a strategy, part of that strategy is the amount of capital you risk on, any, on, on every speculation. Do you have an, an amount that you risk? Uh, one or two percent. And this is gold. Oh yeah, but you see, I made my bets on gold when I was when I was much more green, so I risked far too much. Uh, do you scale into positions? I uh, have done. What, what about stop and loss trading orders and stuff? Um, well, I scaled into gold a lot. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. Would you advise it to, to people getting into the trade? Not early on once you know what you're doing. I'd recommend, if you're really interested in trading, you're really serious about doing it, I'd recommend trading a dummy account. I'd go and do a course, learn a system, trade that system in a dummy account for three to six months, and then put, I don't know, two grand, and then trade that two grand, that system, with just two, you know, a small amount of money. I'm not saying two, for six months. And only after a year, when your system is so habit, it's like checking your emails or something, you check your thing. Only then scale up to significant amounts. I really would take that amount of time to do it. Learn a system, practice that system in a dummy account for three to six months, and then practice, then stick one or two grand in an account and then practice that system with a one or two grand. And that's before you start putting in you know, remortgaging the house and, and that kind of thing. I've done it. I've sold a house and, and bet money on markets. And it, fortunately, it, it, it went well for me, but for a bit, and then it kind of went against me. But the, the, I would not advise doing that until you have a definite, definite, definite system in place and you know the system works and you know how to do that system and you can take your emotion out of it because your emotions... Uh, whether it's the emotion of trading or the emotion of you've been to meet, meet the guy uh, with the shiny white teeth who's in charge of the company and he's all charming and he's told you that we're going to do this, that and the other and you've believed him. And, and even though the stock's doing that, the man with the white teeth said it was going to do that. So you stay in. You know, that's not proper investing. It's the, the thing's going down and, and, and you're losing money. You've got to get out. You've got to know, you've got to ha know every investment you make you should know at exactly what point you are going to get out if the investment goes against you. That should be your first thing. On, you have to write a little list of investments. And the first thing is, at what point do I exit? And you need to have that very clear in your mind because you, with many of the investments you make, you will, you will reach that point. And that's more important than at what point do I take a profit or, or at what point do I, um, you know, imagining all the money that you're going to make. It's more important to know what your risk is.